My name is Marlene Alvarado. I'm with Soy del Pueblo, and I'm going to try. I'm trying to focus more right now on on labor issues because it's so so important, especially since workers are being just terribly devastated. I mean, minimum wage. Give me a break. Who can support a family of uh, two on five dollars an hour? Hi, my name is Marlene Alvarado. I'm with Soy del Pueblo, and I'm talking to Ramon Flores. And uh, he's on strike against gas and. Uh, Uh, I want to ask him some questions. ¿Qué está pasando con Guest? Ok, este, como nos estábamos, bueno, trabajaba en el departamento de Receiving. A mí me descansaron el 13 de este mes. Me descansaron por la razón de que nos estábamos organizando. Queríamos tener la unión, pero para que se dieron cuenta y descansaron como a 30 personas por defender nuestros derechos, nuestra dignidad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. She's going to try and say, what's your name again? I'm Susie Hoffman Kipp, and this is Ramon Flores. He used to work in the guest shop. They have about a thousand workers in one of their in their shop, and he was working in the receiving department. And on the 13th of August this month, he was uh, fired for speaking out and trying to organize the union. About 30 people were fired on the 13th of this month. E, uh, como, how, how is it going? How uh, the What are, how are you supporting yourself, todo eso? ¿Cómo? Y la lucha, y cómo está la, cómo va la lucha? Bueno, la lucha, pues, ahorita está bien fuerte, o sea, que no, no hemos decaído. Siempre estamos firmes, viendo el sol de frente, y seguiremos luchando hasta que dentro de la unión y hasta que derrotemos a la guerra. Incluso los compañeros que están adentro todavía, pues, siempre están en lucha, y nosotros afuera seguiremos luchando para darle duro. It's a difficult struggle, but we're in it for the long haul, and those that have been fired are still working with people inside the union, inside the shop, that want the union, and will continue fighting. Okay. Eh, la razón también, porque se estaba peleando adentro de la compañía, era de porque había mucho part-time, y de los part-time no tenían beneficios, ellos no tenían sick day, no tenían holiday, no tenían este, vacaciones, no tenían aseguranza. Pues se logró, se ha logrado algo ahora con el despido de nosotros y la presión que hemos tenido, pues ya casi todos lo hicieron full time e incluso le aumentaron 25 centavos que están ganando 5.25 y yo creo que ese mérito ha sido por la unión y por nosotros que estamos luchando afuera de los empleados de la GES. The people that were fired from guests have basically done a lot to improve the conditions inside guests because people are scared that the union is going to organize the plant. And so they've done things like given people a 25 cent increase hourly. They've given people, um, it, people that used to be part time, they've now gone full time. And so his concern is that all the work that they've done has paved the way for you, the guest company improving the conditions and that they make sure it makes sense that it's part of the union. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is uh, the day before, well, two days before Labor Day, and um, in the United States, workers are getting attacked. There's an assault on labor. Uh, we're losing all kinds of social benefits, and the reason is because uh, capitalism is based on the exploitation of labor, and l labor has to organize in unions. And right now, I have, I'm interviewing some uh, workers who work for guests, right? That are home para guests. Sí, and they're they're right. They were trying to organize to get better wages for themselves uh, and better working conditions, and they were fired. And uh, they, tell me more about uh, what get, what happened. Okay, uh, my name is Enrique Flores. Okay. Uh, yo soy un ex trabajador de de la Guess, de un contratista de contratista que trabajaba para Guess. Este, nosotros uh, teníamos muchas anomalías dentro de nuestro taller. Uh, este este guest, uh, como una solución a las anomalías que se encontraron en nuestro taller, nos despidió y nos quitó nuestro trabajo. Okay, I'm going to translate. And, you, and your name again? I'm Susie Hoffman, Kip. And I work with the union. Uh -huh. And Enrique Flores used to work for Kelly Sportswear, which is one of the contractors that did all guest work. And... Uh, They basically they're telling about their struggle now is that they were fighting to improve their conditions and guests fired them. Just for organizing, right? 
simplemente para organizarse. Pero fue sí. más complicado lo que pasó bueno, con usted. Eh, o sea, había... ¿Qué fue la complicación? Ok, uh, nosotros éramos trabajadores uh, por el contratista de Guess y sin tener ningún beneficio, a nosotros no nos garantizaban el mínimo. A uh, nosotros uh, no... O sea que no, nosotros no teníamos ningún beneficio que lo que son vacaciones, días festivos, no conocemos lo que es una aseguranza. Okay. Could you translate that? So the contracting shop, which did all of its work for guests, wouldn't guarantee the minimum wage, for example, they paid by the piece and they wouldn't guarantee that it would be four twenty-five an hour. They never paid overtime, they never paid for vacation days, they never paid for sick days, and it was basically just a situation of exploitation. So right now, uh, they're picketing in front of guest uh, uh, stores to bring more attention and uh, hopefully people will not will not shop there. So where have you been picketing recently? Nosotros estamos ahorita este, boicoteando las tiendas de guest para que ellos hagan caso a nuestros uh, ruegos de que lo que queremos es no perjudicar a la compañía, sino que la compañía nos regrese nuestro trabajo porque ya que ese es un medio para poder sobrevivir nosotros. Okay, he's saying that we're boycotting in front of the guest store on Rodeo Drive the last two weeks, basically so the guest recognizes the rights of these workers and that they return the work to the factories. In the coming weeks, in lo, las semanas que van a entrar, ¿dónde van a estar? Uh, vamos a nosotros, lo que estamos uh, tratando de hacer es que vamos a boicotear las demás tiendas que, que tiene aquí Guest. Y lo que, como le dije, no queremos perjudicarlas, sino al contrario, queremos hacerle un llamado para que nos vuelva a dar nuestro trabajo y nuestros be beneficios que merecemos como personas y trabajadores. So, if you uh, don't shop at Guest, uh, by not shopping at Guest, you not only ensure their livelihood, but you also ensure the fact that you as a worker, and that's the big problem is most people here don't think they're workers, you as a worker also ensure your guaranteed wage, because when they suppress labor like his, the next person is you. 